Hi everyone! So as I mentioned in my 2014 favorites, um, which I will go ahead and link down below just in case you haven't seen it, I kind of became obsessed with purple lips this year, or in 2014. So last year technically now, which is really weird to say. So I decided that I might want to, that y'all might want to see my purple lip collection. It's nothing super huge. Maybe to some people it is. Maybe to some people you're like, you have like no purple lips. But I thought this might be interesting for y'all so y'all can really know what I have. If y'all have any suggestions, I would love for you to leave them down below for me because it's kind of my new favorite lip color. Also, if you're like, okay, I would really like to know what color, what's your red lipstick look like or what's your eyeshadows look like and stuff. I'm kind of thinking about starting these as like, here, um, Kristen Game does them. She calls them her stash statuses, which I think is a really cute name. Um, not taking credit for it. Again, Kristen Game. Sorry, Kenga just um, wants to join us now. So, um, I don't know. I thought it might be interesting for y'all. Let me know if you think you'd like to know uh, more about that, like a uh, more in-depth makeup collection. I'm going to do a whole makeup collection video um, relatively soon uh, this month, but more in-depth like swatches and stuff. Let me know. So, purple lips. Let's just get started. Um, this one is Sonia Kashuk. It is one of their Satin Luxe lip color in the shade 89 Violetta. This is more of a dark brownie purple. It's so, so pretty. It's like a mauvey purple dark color. Great for fall and winter or any time. Like, let's be honest, you can wear anything anytime you want. But I love it. Oh my gosh. And these feel so nice on the lips. This one is kind of a weird one. This is 340 Entwined by CoverGirl. Here we go. This one looks weird in the tube. Oh gosh. I feel like this is going to be one of those videos where I keep on swatching stuff and y'all are like, those are all the same. I watch videos like that and I'm like, oh. I'll never do that. I think I'm doing it right now. Um, these look very, very similar. I'm not going to lie. This one's a little hair darker. You probably don't need both of these. This is CoverGirl 340 Entwined. Yeah, you don't need both of those. Um, I actually like the way the Sonia Kashuk one feels better if you want me to choose between those two. All right. This one is not available anymore, unfortunately. It is the Sephora Rouge. Um, it came out in the summer of 2013. It is in the shade Hot Bikini. Look at that. This is like more of a hot pinky purple, but still definitely purple and bright and great for summer or spring or life, really. I love that shade. So you can see more, this is more of a brownie darker shade, but they're very similar. But that shade, Hot Bikini, love it. This I got in an Ipsy bag, and it is by Micah Beauty. It's a tinted lip balm in the shade number six, Fiesta. Now you need some chapstick under these babies, let me tell you. Because they are not lip balmy at all, or moisturizing, or nice at all. <laughs> That's more of a pinky mauvey color, but it's definitely there. It's a lot darker than the hot bikini, but it's definitely a more purpley shade and I really like them. I think they're really beautiful and super highly pigmented but they're not moisturizing. If anything they're very drying actually. <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me. This is from a Lorac set that came in the Christmas collection of 2012. 2013. It is Lorac Rockin' Red Lip Gloss in the shade Rock. I'm not gonna be honest I'm not super impressed with any of these but if you have because they're pretty sheer. But sometimes I just want to make something look a little bit more purpley. And I put that on. It's really like a true bluey violet kind of shade. Next, this also came in a little gift set. I've done a whole review of these. So again, anything that's been reviewed will be linked down below. It's a pixie lip gloss set. This is the shade Pink Orchid. Oh, see, these are kind of goopy. And this is probably a little more pink than purple. It's pretty sheer, but there it is. Definitely has lots of purpley tints to it. Um, I do like it. I don't find myself wearing it that much just because it is kind of sticky, but there it is, pink orchid. All right, I'm thinking we're going to have to remove those now. So 
that's these. Then I have two of these L'Oreal Caress things. I don't know the exact name. And I hate it when they don't put the exact names of them on the thing. But they're the L'Oreal Caress stainy things. This is in the shade 136 Berry Persistent. I really like the applicators of these. And these do have pretty nice stain power. This is um a darker purpley purple shade. <laughs> It's got like some berry hints to it for sure, but it's definitely a purple. And this is more of a Radiant Orchid shade. It's 191 Stubborn Plum. I wouldn't call it a plum. I would call it a pinky orchid shade personally. They both stain, and they really stain hands. So that's that. I like both of those. They don't have the highest pigmentation, but they can be built up. This is what I have on my lips today. And I'm going to be totally honest with you, I don't love it, but... You know, that happens. It's from Cynthia Rally. I got it in a birch box. It's the shade Dahlia. It's one of her creamy lip stains. They're not creamy and they're patchy and they're hard to work with. There it is. But it's definitely a purple. And it's thick and it's kind of gritty on your lips. It's right up there. So I like it okay. I mean, I know. It's a purple, so I'm going to wear it, and I believe that you have to use up your stuff or else you're going to just keep on buying it. That's just a belief I have. Um, I, I have a video about it. I'll link it below, because why not? Um, but it's a purple that I have, and I wear it. Obviously, I'm wearing it today. But as you can see, it's just not super opaque, and it's not like, it doesn't look like this on the lips at all. All right. Lacquer and Company Lip Lube in the shade Minotaur, one of my very favorites purples. It's a true Barney purple. It's got a super sweet candy cane scent, and I love it. And it's so nice on the lips, and it feels great, and it's beautiful. And if you want purple, Minotaur is the way to go. And I just recently ordered a couple of these, which um, will be in an upcoming haul. And this is the last one. I got it in a Sephora Meet Your Match set because the Sephora favorites and the Sephora value kits are the way to go, in my opinion. I love them. And there it is. It's a little bit more pinky, especially compared to that Minotaur, but it's definitely still, I would say, a primarily a purple. It's in the shade Strange Fruit, Bite Beauty, Luscious, Lush Lip Fruit. Not sure I even said any of that. But there it is. So, that's my purple lip product collection. Um, let me know if you want more of these. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Those L'Oreal Caress glosses, like I told you, they will stain. Um, I really hope you found this interesting and helpful and entertaining. Like I said, let me know anything down below. I would love to chat with y'all. So um, commenting would be really happy and make me feel really excited. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me and I will see y'all very soon. Bye!